Machikan Time! Narito naman po ang inyong Machikang Teacher. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay geometric sequence. Ito po ay part 2 ng geometric sequence wherein we have to find the n term in a geometric sequence. So, let us define again the geometric sequence. So, it's sequence in which each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed number and that is called geometric sequence or geometric progression. The fixed number is called the common ratio which can be determined by dividing any term in the sequence by the term that precedes it. So, ang hahanapin po natin ngayon ay yung n term. So, mayroon tayong formula na gagamitin wherein a sub n is equal to a sub 1 ka, uh, times the quantity r raised to n minus 1. Wherein, a sub n should be the last term. Yung r naman po natin, yan yung tinatawag nating common ratio. And yung n, that is the number of terms or the position of the term. Hanggang saan ba yung hahanapin nating value? So, let's do this. What is the sixth term of the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27? 27. So, ang hahanapin po natin ay pang sixth term ng ating geometric sequence. Okay? So, given ang ating formula that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity r o yung ratio natin by a raised to n minus 1. So, kailangan natin ng value natin ng a sub 1 which is 1 And then, ano po ba yung R natin? So, saan natin kukunin? So, given ang magiging A sub 1 natin ay 1, A sub 2 ay 3, ang A sub 3 natin ay 9, at ang A sub 4 natin ay 27. So, kukunin natin yung ratio. So, to get the ratio, A sub 2 is 2, A sub 1. So, that is 3, is to 1, and that is equal to 3. Para ma-check ulit natin kung tama ba yung ating ratio, so, A is to 3 over A is to 2. So, or a sub 3 is 2, a sub 2. So, magiging 9 is 2, 3. And 9 is 2, 3. And that is also 3. So, doon pa lang po ay pwede na natin gamitin yung ating ratio which is equal to 3. And then, ano yung n? So, si n, yun yung hinahanap natin. At pang ilan ba? 6. So, 6 terms. So, ang n natin ay 6. So, now, we can substitute the value to our formula. So, magiging a sub, a is 2, 6, kasi yun yung hinahanap, is equal to, ang a sub 1 natin ay 1, times the quantity, ang r po natin ay 3, times a uh, raised to si n, which is 6, minus 1. So, a sub 6 is equal to 1, times 3, raised to 6 minus 1 is 5. Now, since exponent po, ang gagawin natin, ibig sabihin, limang beses natin imumultiply ang 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, that is 27 times 3 is 81 times 3, that is 243. So, a sub 6 is equal to 1 times 243 and 1 times 243 a sub 6 is equal to 243 so ibig sabihin ang pang-anim na term natin ay 243 next example po tayo given that GP ano po ba yung GP? that is geometric progression Okay, di ba? Another term for geometric sequence is the geometric progression. We have 5, 10, 20, and so on and so forth. Now, what is the 10th term? So again, given the formula that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity r raised to n minus 1. So, alamin ulit natin sino ang a sub 1. So, ang a sub 1 po natin ay yung unang term which is 5. Next, ano ang R? To get the ratio, so kunin yung second term, is 2 natin do sa first term, yung ratio natin sa first term at second term, 10 divided by 5 or 10 is to 5, that is 2. Another, 20 is to 10. And 20 is to 10, that is also equal to 
So therefore, ang common ratio nila ay 2. Next one is, ano po ang N? Ano yung hinahanap natin? That is 10 term. So, ang N natin ay 10. So, given the uh, given A sub 1 is equal to 5, ang ratio is equal to 2, and ang N po natin equals 10. So, let us now substitute the value given that A sub 10 is equal to ang A sub 1 natin ay 5 times the quantity ang R po natin ay 2 at ang N natin ay 10 minus 1. Then, uunahin natin yung exponent. A sub 10 is equal to 5 times 2 raised to 10 minus 1 is 9. So, again, uunahin din po natin yung 2 raised to 9. So, A sub 10 is equal to 5. It means, yung 2 raised to 9, 9 times po natin, multiply ang 2. Ayan. 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. Times 2, that is 8. Times 2 is 16. Times 2, that is 32. Times 2, that is 64. Times 2, 128. Times 2 is 256. And times 2, that is 512. Ayan. So, yung 2 raised to 9, that is equal to 512. Now, 512 times 5. So, A raised to 10 is equal to, kung multiply natin, 512 times 5. Yan, iisa-isahin natin. 5 times 2, that is 10. Carry what? 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 times 5 is 25. So, the answer is 2,560. So, therefore, ang ika, 10 o 10 term ng ating geometric progression na 5, 10, 20 is 2,560. So, let us have another example. In the GP or the geometric progression, 2, negative 6, positive 18, let us find the 8th term. Yan, ang hinahanap naman natin ngayon ay yung pangwalo. Sino kaya yung pangwalo dun sa geometric progression natin na 2, negative 6, and positive 18? Okay, so given again the formula, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity R raised to N minus 1. So, alamin natin, ano ang value ng A sub 1? So, ang A sub 1 natin ay yung ating 2, which is the first term. Ano ang R? To get the common ratio, so, yung ratio ng negative 6 is to 2. And that is negative 3. To check again, you can use another one. Positive 18 is to negative 6, and that is also negative 3. So, ang common ratio natin ay negative 3. And then, ano po ang N? So, ang N ay yung hinahanap natin, which is 8. Ayan. So, since may value na tayo, we can substitute now to our equation. So, given that A sub 8 equals, ang A sub 1 natin ay 2, times ang R natin ay negative 3, raised to 8 minus 1. Okay? So, magiging A sub 8 equals 2 times the quantity negative 3. Unahin natin, 8 minus 1, and that is 7. And then, A sub 8 equals 2 times. Ilang beses natin multiply ang 3? That is 7. So, we will multiply negative 3 times negative 3. Ayan, pwedeng parenthesis. Times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, 2, 4, 6, 7, times negative 3. So, magiging, mumultiply po natin. So, ito po ay 9, then 27, times 3 is 81, times 3 is uh, 243, times 3 is 729, times 3 is 2,187. So, yung negative 3 raised to 7 ay 2,187. Pero, meron po siyang sign. 
'di ba? Meron tayong sign. So ano magiging sign ng 2187 natin? So as you can see, negative negative it will become positive, negative negative positive, negative negative positive and then we have negative. So kahit tatlong positive basta may isang negative, so the answer is negative. Okay? And then we will multiply 2187 to 2. So, a sub 8 equals sa positive times negative, that is negative. So, yung 2,187, imumultiply natin sa 2. 7 times 2, that is 14. 2 times 8, 16 plus 1 ay 17. Carry 1, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4. So, therefore, a sub 8 is equal to negative 4,370. Four. So, kung kukunin pala natin yung pangwalong term ng ating geometric progression na 2, negative 6, positive 18, the answer is negative 4,374. So, now, let us our last example. So, find the 10th term of the sequence 5, negative 5, positive 5, negative 5, positive 5. Ano kaya yung pang sampo? ba? So again, given the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity r raised to n minus 1. So, kailangan natin ng value ni a sub 1 which is equal to positive 5. Ano ang ratio? So, kukunin nyo yung second term sa ratio ng first term which is positive 5. So, negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. To check again kung tama ang ratio, so kukunin yung third term, di-divide natin sa negative 5, which is second term. So, 5 is to negative 5, or 5 divided by negative 5, and that is also negative 1. So, therefore, ang common ratio natin ay negative 1. And then, ang n po natin ay, so since 10 term, so ang n natin ay 10. Now, we can substitute the value to our equation, a sub, and then ang n natin ay 10, equals ang a sub 1 natin ay 5, times ang, a, ang r natin ay negative 1, raised to 10, minus 1. So, magiging a sub 10 equals 5, times negative 1, raised to 9, kasi 10 minus 1 is 9. So, 9 times natin imumultiply ang ating negative 1. So, negative 1 times 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 negative 1 since puro 1 naman po yan and that would be kahit anong multiply ang gawin natin dyan ang sagot pa rin po ay 1 pero ano ang magiging sign? so kung titingnan natin negative negative will, will become positive negative negative positive negative, negative, positive, and then negative, negative, positive. So, may may iwang isang negative, so therefore, it will become also negative. Okay? Now, a sub 10 is equal to 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. So, ang pang sampung term ng ating geometric sequence ay 5. Na 5, negative 5 at 5 ay negative 5. Madali po natin makukuha ang n term basta alam natin ang ating formula which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity r raised to n minus 1. Naway marami tayong natutunan ngayong araw na ito. Iyan ang ating math sa iyong kwentuhan. Hanggang sa muli, huwag kalimutang i-click ang like, share, at subscribe. Paalam!